What do you think? What do you think, Corbin? Uh-oh, but it has a little bit of paint on it. That's okay. Watch out. Oh. What do you think of our new home, Corbin? It's, it's, it's good. It's starting to be, um, it's a bed now. Wow, it's a new bed. Good morning, everybody. And it has been a very, very long time, but we are still... We're still alive. We're still here. We're still kicking. <laughs> Welcome to Life Worth Living. My name is Michael. I'm Nora. And here is the newest member of the, D the Life Worth Living. There's little Ellie. Hey there, Ellie. <laughs> she just kind of startled awake. And yes, I know that this rock and play has been recalled and we only use it when we're in the room with her and it was only recalled because people were using it not according to instructions so anyway that's my little thing because i can almost guarantee you someone's going to notice that <laughs> just anyway. answering haters out there so they're not haters they're just concerned people i understand yes most right. of them my mom always said my that friend, my mom my always said when someone when someone corrects you or tries to tell you something that you're doing wrong you always say, thank you so much for caring enough to tell me that. Yep. Well, this is us right now. Busy day. Busy, very busy day. This is our last day to get everything <coughs> sorted, organized, given to the dump and Goodwill and trash and packed up into our vehicles so we can head out tomorrow. I mean, if you follow our vlog, you know that this is very <laughs> uncharacteristic of us. We never wait till the last minute to back up. <laughs> and this is never Effort. what what our house looks like the day before we leave. <laughs> You're going to think we never have our lives together. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we just pretend. But anyway. We, we, figure, we feel like if we pretend long enough, eventually it will just happen. We are moving our life into a travel trailer. We bought a trailer. We bought a trailer. We need to get going because we have a long day ahead of us. Super busy. And our children, the other two, are in their pajamas still. We cleared out this room because we were having such <laughs> trouble getting anything done. <laughs> so we cleared out this room, and so they are. They're, they're, I see them. They're trapped. We got them we in there. We got a gate, and so that we can hopefully get things done today. That's the and goal. And there's a room that they cannot get in. There's nothing that they can get into. So. Well, somewhat. That's kind of why, that's kind of why our room looks like, this room looks like this. Because we just, because around three o'clock last night, we're like, we need, we need this room to just throw our kids into. Because it's raining outside too. Um, well, we don't have a fence anyway, so we can't just yeah, let we, them play outside. Yeah. And so, so anyway, we just literally threw everything into this room. So but we're going to get going. Here we go. Instead of talking about it. I love you, baby Owie. Can you sing to her? Oh no, I can't. Oh, no. I'm singing. It's gone. You want to sing out? It's so good? No, my singing is it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Yeah. Well, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Somebody <laughs> eat my singing. Somebody ate your singing? Uh -huh. Will it come back? Uh -huh. when, what time will it come back? Uh, um, 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 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay, so in 10 minutes, can we come back in here and sing to Ellie? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, spit up. Spit up? Yeah. yeah. You used to spit up a lot. Mm -hmm. Way more than Ellie. You spit up uh -uh. so much. Okay, bye bye, baby Ellie. Bye bye. Okay, so what are you doing on our computer? I am playing computer games. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, we, I actually, fun thing, because I had a home birth this time, I was getting regular visits with all of um, OBs and high risk and everything just because to be safe. But then I stopped seeing them towards the end and switched over to a midwife. Um, and anyway, because I did that, I, we have a credit. And so we get $437.50 back. Hoot hoot. 
And this is actually on top of other money that we've already gotten back that we had to prepay for the hospital birth since I didn't have a hospital birth. So it's kind of cool. Believe it or not, we are making progress. We are feeling pretty good about our position. But um, there's still a lot to do. I would really like to get to bed before midnight tonight, but we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to be ready to hit the road. Okay, we're making progress slowly, but we're making progress. <laughs> and I am taking a break to um, make dinner here. I'm making something quick in the Instant Pot. But I was just... Um, thinking about some things and so obviously if you have been following our channel for a while you know when we moved back to the Solomon Islands after Kezia was born um, my mom was already living in Virginia but she drove all the way to Rockford Illinois to help us pack up last minute and it was amazing because I, I really don't think that we would have um, gotten packed up if it were not for her. I'll, I'll link that video too um, up at the top if you want to check it out. But anyway, um, but obviously um, now it's just us and the kids and trying to pack with three children has been, um, it's been a lot and it just, whew. It's, I guess it's times like these that really make you realize what you're going to miss, like what you're missing. You know, obviously there's so much about my mom that I miss and that's, I'm going to miss, but um, times like these kind of make that quite more poignant <laughs> um, because if she were alive, she would be doing everything she could to help us get packed up and watching the kids and and everything so just makes you realize how much a person did for you when they're not there to do it anymore this is michael and his tractor <laughs> remember this was done almost 23 years ago wow well we're saying goodbye to it keep cutting off your head. I'm not used to vlogging. I mean, babe, if you want to keep it, we'll keep it. No, it's fine. So I'm waiting to um, shower until we're all done, because that will be my reward for finishing everything. <laughs> so I have no idea what it look like right now, but we are, the kids are in bed, except for Ellie, obviously, um, because she's crying right now. And we are sorting sorting and sorting and we're and now we're kind of going through our mementos and weeding through some of the stuff that we've kept that we probably don't need to keep and so we'll see how late this night is because right now it's about 10 30 i think so it's gonna be a long night we're really michael's wanting to have everything packed up before we go to bed tonight so we'll see we don't really need to leave super early tomorrow we just want to get down the road a little ways so We'll see how this goes. We don't want to drive a marathon trip either because we don't know how this trailer's going to pull. It's 130, 140. No. 111. Oh. <laughs> it feels like 140. We didn't go to bed until about 3.30 last night, so we still have a couple hours. We're almost done, really. It is about 4.30 in the morning, and I got a nap at about 7.30 <laughs> last night and for a little bit, about a half hour. And I'm still going. We're almost done, even though it doesn't really look like it. Um, this is what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I realize that it doesn't look like we're almost done, but we are, sort of, getting there anyway. We're making progress. Most of the work has just been organizing and sorting and getting rid of things. And so, anyway, we haven't really gotten most of any, most any of the stuff much. We haven't really gotten hardly any of the stuff out, out yet because we, I want to clean the Suburban before we get 
things up in this room. It just needs to get vacuumed and washed. So we're going to do that in the morning. Um, or Michael's going to do that in the morning. <laughs> and yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is in the morning and Nora has been up. Nora was up, up until six o'clock and I went to bed at three um, because I had to get up with the kids. Well, I have to get a certain part for our trailer and the closest one is 40 minutes away. The town that we're staying in unbelievably, unbelievably does not have the part that we need. So we're having to drive 40 minutes to a smaller town because it's very, we, we need a sway control kit for our trailer and it's, it makes driving a trailer much safer. So that's what we're doing. And I've got all three kiddos for a 40 minute round trip drive, a uh, 40 minute, no, just a 40 minute one way drive. 40 minutes one way drive so that's gonna be crazy right kiddos no. yeah mommy's sleeping right now so she'll be able to take a good long nap <laughs> stop so sometimes I see vloggers they do this six hours later thing. <laughs> Have you seen me when I'm Yeah, that? yeah. Well, this is like 12 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, okay, maybe 12 hours later. But we're only leaving like nine and a half hours after the we've our goal time. We could have probably left by three if we wanted, but we decided to stay. Um, no. I don't think we could have left by five three. or six. <laughs> then Michael laid down for a nap. Because we decided, you know what? Well, it was really, really windy earlier. Did you talk about the wind? We had wind of about, it was like 32 miles per hour. And wind gusts of up to like 50 miles per hour, I think. And anyway, um, now the wind's died down, thankfully. Because I'm already nervous enough with this trailer. Because I've never ridden in a vehicle pulling a trailer before. At least a trailer this size. So it's a little bit scary. <laughs> but anyway, um... I was just telling Michael that I'm kind of thankful it worked out for us to leave at night instead. Hopefully the kids will sleep well, first of all. They're all in their pajamas and quiet. And second of all, I, the roads are really empty, and so it's we might not be as doing bad. might a lot of traveling at night to sleep to make you more comfortable. Yeah, possibly. Because right now the roads are basically empty, so it's not nearly as nerve-wracking as it could be if there's a bunch of people on the roads. So see how this goes. Michael got a nap, so hopefully you're wide awake. Are you wide awake? Just perky. Perky? <laughs> you're perky. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see how this how this night goes. <laughs> I'd ask you to pray for us, but you're going to watch this after when it's already over. <laughs> but you can still pray for us. Yes, we are. Mommy, do you hear that sound? <laughs> Beautiful. I do hear that sound. Is it scary? You don't like it. <laughs> yeah, mommy doesn't like it either. I love you. You were a trooper last night. Gotta ask you to be a trooper again for the, for, for a couple more weeks where things tend to slow down. They're not slowing uh, down. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> They're just getting more localized. <laughs> I can't believe how big she's gotten. Mm -hmm. Spooky, spooky lion. A spooky, spooky lion? Mm -hmm. That's what's shaking our car? Mm -hmm. It's shaking our car. No. Who's really shaking our car? It's daddy. What is he doing? He is, he is, he is getting everything uh, uh, ready. So as I was waiting on our, our supper to cook and uh, then to go pick it up at the restaurant, which was delicious, by the way. It was really good. It was, and it was uh, extremely reasonably priced. It was very reasonably priced. How much was our whole meal for all of us? $26. For all of we us. Had, what did we have? We had ribs. And you had ribs. ribs. Ribs and chicken. Barbecue chicken. A euro. I had a beautiful, gorgeous hero. Um, <laughs> and the kids is had... It, okay, is it hero... Or gyro. <laughs> I, or I don't call it gyro. Hero. What do we call it? Hero? Euro. Euro. Euro, I think. Euro. That's what we call it. Or but, a euro. Uh, anyway. 
It's a anyway, sandwich, the and Greek the, sandwich. The kids had chicken nuggets and, and fries. And then they munched off of our stuff too. Yeah, we had plenty of food. Super, super hungry. Anyway, it was all for like $26, and the ribs were delicious for $26. So anyway, while that was all cooking, um, I was thinking, you know, we have this camper sitting at the back of the church, and someone could easily just come in and hook it up and drive off with all of our worldly possessions. <laughs> so I, I went and got a trailer, a trailer, a trailer. So, somehow we missed that and all of the other Pre plans and preparations. <laughs> but I thought about it.